Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're talking about how to factor a four term polynomial. So this is a very kind of like the last video with factoring out a GCF, which will be incorporated in this process. This is again a very foundational skill. Okay, so what you learn in this video, we're going to build on in future videos. So just make sure every step of the way that you're really getting down every step. How we factor four term polynomials is a process called factor by grouping. Okay, um, anytime you see a four term polynomial, it's got four terms and they're separated by adding or subtracting signs, okay? We do this thing called factor by grouping. I'm gonna walk you through the steps of it. Even though you'll have different numbers in every single problem, the steps are, are exactly the same. So it's just, it's kind of like becoming muscle memory. Factoring takes tons of practice. So you just gotta practice with a bunch of examples. We're gonna do uh, two in this video. All right, so looking at my first example, I notice I, I do have a four term polynomial, one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna factor by grouping. And what I do is I group together, I like to use parentheses. This is just my preference. Teachers have different, I've seen some do like squiggle lines. Some do just like, I don't know, just I like parentheses, but just be aware you might see something else. Okay, so I'm gonna group together my first two terms. All right, through parentheses. And then I'm gonna group together my last two terms. So this one and this one. And this is very important. Make sure you include the sign with your second group. So that X or whatever is there in that third spot, you wanna include the sign with it. Okay, cause that's gonna come into play in just a little bit. So all I've done is I've grouped together the first two terms and the second two terms. Now, to factor by grouping, I'm gonna figure out what is my GCF of my first group. And I'm gonna pull it out and factor what I would have left. So literally factoring out the GCF just of the first group. So let's think, okay, I've got two X squared plus four X. So as far as my numbers, so two and four, I need the GCF. So two goes into two. And I know two goes into four, so my number will be two. Now what about the x's? I've got x squared and then just one x. The most they can give me would just be one x, right? Even though that one has two, that one only has one to give. So that's the most you can pull out. So now we need to build what we have left in the parentheses. And to do that, we're literally going to factor out, divide out that GCF of two X. So two divided by two, that would cancel to one. And then X squared divided by X. So two minus one, because remember when we divide using exponents, we subtract the exponents. So two minus one would just be one. All right, positive four divided by positive two. That would be positive two. X divided by X cancels. So that's the end of that first grouping. Now let's look at the second grouping. This is an important step that a lot of students forget. This sign, okay, and that's why I really emphasize to include that sign with that second parentheses. Whatever this sign is, positive or negative, it gets brought down. Okay, so it's a positive, bring down this positive. All right, and now let's figure out what would be my GCF? X plus two. So we haven't really seen one like this in our videos yet, but you might be saying like, there's nothing. Like other than one, there's nothing we could pull out. And you're absolutely right. So all we can do is pull out a one. All right, now let's factor out that one. Divide that one out. X divided by one is just X. Plus two divided by one is just positive two. And that's it. So at this point, you I love factor by grouping because you can check yourself. If you have done your work totally correct, 
you should have a twin. Okay, you should have a set of twins, I should say, right here and right here. These two should be exactly the same. And if they are, you know you've done everything right. So my last step here is I'm going to write what I have in front of the parentheses. Group those two together. So the 2x and the plus 1. Write those together. Pull out one twin. I only need one. x plus 2. And that's it. We have factored by grouping. Now, for fun, we're not going to do it, but I'll, I'll just tell you that if you want to double check yourself, and we kind of did by making sure we had twins, but if we want to triple check ourselves, you could FOIL these two. This is a binomial times a binomial. If I were to FOIL this, and I did a whole video on FOILing, you might want to go back and review, you should go back here to the original problem. So FOIL this out, you should get this original answer. Just another way to check yourself, okay? Because this is an expression, because there's no equal sign here, we stop here. Let's go to a second example. So I've got a four-term polynomial, one, two, three, four, all separated by adding or subtracting signs. So I'm gonna do factor by grouping. So I'm gonna group my first two terms together and I'm gonna group my second two terms together, making sure I include that sign with the second group. Let's find the GCF of the first group. So 6x squared minus 4x. Well, usually start with the lower number. I know 4 goes into 4. Does 4 go into 6? Not evenly, so no. So let's do our next number down. I know the next number down from 4 would be 2. So I know 2 goes into 4. Does 2 go into 6? Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out the number 2. All right, now I've got x squared and just 1x. So the most I can pull out is just 1x. So let's factor that out. Let's divide it out and see what we have left. 6 divided by 2 is 3. x squared divided by x is just x. Right? We had 2. We're pulling 1 out. We just have 1 left. Negative 4 divided by 2 would be negative 2 x divided by x cancels to 1, so that's it for our first grouping. Now remember, I take this sign, whatever it is, and I bring it down. It's probably the most misstep that I see. All right, so bring that negative down. Now let's figure out our GCF over here. Ooh, so we're in a situation again where between 3 and 2, there's no GCF bigger than 1. This one has an x, and that one doesn't even have an x to pull out, so I can't pull an x out. So literally all I can pull out is negative 1. So let's divide out that negative 1, and that's when I say this is the most missed thing, it's important to bring that negative 1 down, that negative sign down, and when you divide it out, make sure you're dividing by a negative 1. That's, so that's what I meant when I said the most missed thing that I see. So let's divide out that GCF of negative 1. Negative 3 divided by negative 1 would just be positive 3. X, and there's nothing to combine it with down here, so it's just X. Positive 2 divided by negative 1, that would be negative 2, and parentheses. So at this point, I can check myself. Do I have twins? Have I created twins? Yes, these have to be exactly the same. Same sign, same number, same letters, everything. They are the same. So now I group together what I have in front of the parentheses. So the 2x and the minus 1 can join together. Or join together. <laughs> and then I pull out one twin. Just one. And there we go. If I were to FOIL this back, do first, outer, inner, last you should be taken back to the original polynomial, all right? This has been Miss Miss Math Tutorials.